Well, it began, I guess, with buying my own house. The previous owner of the house had purchased the land next door and that land then opened onto another street. I really wanted to do two things. One, a building that's very flexible and very simple in its construction. And two, I thought, I'm an architect, I'm interested in a climate change problem, I would like to do something that's measurable. And Bernard came along and asked whether I could help him make the house a passive house. So I said, yes, of course. I thought it should have nice space, nice lights. It should be nicely put together. I think the materials mattered a lot as well, what materials I used to build it. The house itself was a, was a very good shape. Uh, it's a relatively compact, good form factor. The problem is the site has a four-storey Victorian terrace immediately to the south of it, and therefore no sunlight facing in that direction. So we had to maximise the heat gains through the west-facing windows, but then we had to make sure the house didn't get too hot. The building is half sunken, so we built a retaining wall along the road and basically a concrete shell. One of my ideas from very early on was to use cross-laminated timber for the structure. There's 34 panels on this project, so the installation was relatively quick. Um, it took just a week to install and then a few days to finish off the panels because most panels were exposed on the inside. I just decided that timber was going to be nice enough as a finish. It's a small house with big spaces and I realised that simplicity is really a, a fantastic quality.